Mary Kill, Bowen Yang, Matt Rogers, and Zane Phillips. Mm. Um, I would. Oh, he's gonna kill me. <laughs> <laughs> So this is the part of the show where I ask you some spicy questions. It's called sip or spill. So when I ask you those questions, you can choose to sip and not divulge anything, be a coward, or you can spill and be a brave boy and let me know everything. And then if you spill more than you sip, you can turn it around back on me and I'll have to sip or spill, but probably spill. Okay, ready? You're a comedian with a Netflix comedy special, Sip or Spill, do you think we should be giving straight men microphones? <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, listen, I am not a heterophobe by oh, any means. Okay. I think they've come a long way. They're getting funnier slowly by the day. <laughs> and I think eventually we will see a straight male comic that got there who wasn't a diversity hire. Um, <laughs> but that day hasn't come yet. Mm. Um, but I, I can think of a couple off the top of my head that are like, simmering and we'll be ready eventually. They're mm -hmm. marinating right yeah. now. As a successful stand-up comedian who's constantly horny and loves to tussle, sip or spill, have you ever hooked up with a heckler? A heckler? Yeah. No, I don't, I've never really, like most of my hecklers have been middle-aged white women. <laughs> So that's actually not surprising at all. I no. don't know why. Yeah, I don't, know, I don't know why you're at the like, shop, girl. Oh, oh my goodness, <laughs> you can't. No, famously, one of my favorite hecklers told me that I wouldn't have been gay if I had been breastfed. Um, and I had like a full 20 minute long so conversation cringy. with this scientist yeah. um, in the audience. Well, I was breastfed and I love to S to D. So <laughs> science didn't work. Apparently. What you spilling? <laughs> You hosted a show on Comedy Central called Unsend, mm -hmm. where guests discuss the cringiest texts they wish they could unsend. So sip or spill, pull out your phone right now and show us something you wish you could unsend. Or tell us, you don't have to show us. Ooh. Uh-oh. You co-host Chrissy and Dave dine out with Chrissy Teigen and David Chang. Let's say you're gonna eat out and there's only a two top available. Sip or spill, who do you leave off the reservation? Chrissy or Dave? Um, They both watch, so. I think, I mean, and this is sort of by default, like I probably got into the restaurant because of Dave. Mm. So I, I have to take Dave, <laughs> um, just by default. And Chrissy would understand that and she'd make the same decision. Yeah. She, this is not shady at all. Like, yeah, she yeah, knows yeah. if we're getting into the good restaurant, it's because of Dave and we have to bring it. On your new show, Chrissy and Dave Dine Out, you shared dinner with some elite stars from the Marvel Cinematic Universe, including one of the Avengers. Sip or spill, which of those famous dinner guests would you let avenge your ass? Mm, uh, Eric Nam, actually. Or, he was this like K-pop star that we had yeah. on and I was like deeply in love with him. That's for me. I want dessert. Speaking of avenging your ass, sip or spill, f Mary kill. Bowen Yang, Matt Rogers, and Zane Phillips. Oh. I would marry Bowen. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's gonna kill me. <laughs> Not if I he's would, dead. I would, I would, I would Zane and kill Matt. And I, I, and this is partially because I know Matt can handle it and Zane would crumble if I said I would kill him. Um, he wouldn't, he wouldn't recover from that. Yeah. Not on a logo show. Mm. <laughs> So when you watched my Logo Spill interview with Zane, you texted me and you said it made you horny. <laughs> Sip or spill? Are you horny right now? Yeah, honestly, it was something about the intimacy and your chemistry. Like you were fully going in like hard. <laughs> was I? I think you both were. Oh. You, you both were and there's something uh, that I love about when two gays connect and there's chemistry in a web series. Mm -hmm. Like there's really nothing that can beat it. All right, as a sex positive king who has shared a lot about his kinky sex capades, <laughs> Sipper Spill, what's the one kink you tried but you're like, mm, wasn't the moment? Um, uh, foot stuff, for, for sure. I would love- Receiving or giving? Um, both. both. 
Both, for sure. Are you ticklish? I, I am ticklish. I don't like people f***ing with my feet. Yeah. I found that out real quick. I do not like f***ing with people's feet. Yeah. I find it do you find feet so ugly? gross. I find feet very ugly. There's yeah. nothing sexually arousing about it for me. There is this thing, though, where it's like, ew, feet. Like, everyone pretends mm -hmm. to not like feet. Yeah. But it's like, there's a whole website devoted to it. Mm -hmm. Somebody's lying. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who out, like, so, like, more people than admit it are in defeat. <laughs> They're all around us. Yeah. <laughs> After the past couple years, I'm sure you're more recognizable in every setting. <laughs> Sip or spill, has fame made it harder to have fun at the orgy? Yeah, absolutely. You, th there Not is a bit of hesitation. There is, there is nothing less sexy than being at the orgy and having someone come up to you and be like, thank you so much for what you've done for our presentation. <laughs> yeah. It's happened yeah. many times. And it's times. so sincere. I've literally been inside of someone and had them go, you're that guy from that movie. And it's like so doubly offensive because it's like they don't know my name and they don't know the name of the movie. Like, <laughs> Are you like? <laughs> it's like, at least if you're gonna recognize me at yeah. an orgy, like have the name and have the movie. Yeah, yeah. Otherwise, do your you're research, mama. Yeah. Now that you're the famous person at sex parties, sip or spill, do you think the gay community knows you more for your face or for your whole? <laughs> uh, the community writ large, probably my face. My whole, listen. I dress it up, I do different things. It never has the same look twice. Ooh. Yeah, it's different every single time. What will time. she come up with yeah. next? I am medically tight, it's really hard for me. Oh my God, I, I could see you saying that on a date or like a hookup, <laughs> just medically tight. I don't know, it's just like something I have. <laughs> well, I'm not medically tight. <laughs> <laughs> Which leads me to say, you can ask me some sip or spill questions. Okay, sip or spill. Yeah. Cut or uncut. What do I prefer or what I am? Both. I don't have a preference. I like them all. Really? Yeah. Hooded, I do. Unhooded. Oh, you do? Oh, for sure. Which one? Uncut. Oh. For sure. Uncut. You're cut? I used to be uncut. I mean, I guess we all <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> What's like a sexual deal breaker for you? Um, um, like something that somebody does in bed or uh, something physically about them that like just makes your, your boner shrink? Um, I think if someone's mute in bed. Mmm, that's a good one. Yeah. That if is someone is one. like, I don't want to, I'm not a necrophiliac, so like no, I need absolutely. some sort of feedback. A grunt, I would love a monologue, but. Yes, to all of that, we'll call the house down boots. <laughs> um, but there's a half measure that is actually worse that I recently discovered, Ooh. which is too quiet. Uh -huh. Like, I was f***ing this guy and the whole time he was like, huh, huh. You're like, sing out, Louise. I know. Yeah. I was like, huh? huh? <laughs> Say it again. Huh? Huh? Oh, you like what? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> I love it. Well, cheers to being loud in bed. Oh. <laughs>